You all right, young king? I miss mom, granddad. Me know, little man. Me miss her too. And me know your father miss her very much too. Him did just a little boy when them first meet. Your father was very misunderstood by many. But you see your mother, she understand him like no other. They fall in love with each other. And them get married. Them look after each other. And them did very happy together. But your mother was sick and her health was deteriorating. Not long after you was born, she lose her life to cancer. And your father suffered the deepest pain imaginable. But him no say him if he be the best father him can be without her. So him raised the children and him won. Him never thought about it, but to this day, him still feel the deep pain from the loss of the love of him life. But let me tell you something. Your mother live on through you. You have this savage blood of your father, but you have your mother's eyes. Really? Me should not do it because it's past your bedtime. But me I can tell you a bedtime story to cheer you up. Oh, Granddad, can you tell me the military one? Please, 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 please. All right, young king. This is the story about how your father served in the military. About 12 years ago, before you were born, a army of terrorists were moving through the Caribbean highlands, killing the women and children, burning down their houses, and capturing the strongest men to make them slaves. One by one, them take all the Caribbean highlands. Until there was only one left to take. Jamaica, where your father was the general of the Jamaican army. Alongside his brother, Lieutenant Barbados. Your father had been studying the art of war from when he was just nine years old and him read all the battle in a history to learn how all the battle was won. With your father leading the army, him create decoys, set clever traps, and flank the enemy. The enemy underestimate Jamaica. You see me? Yeah, man. The terrorists couldn't overthrow the Jamaican army. So they have to retreat. And Jamaica was liberated. This is a wonderful day for us as Jamaicans. It is a moment that words can't describe. We win it, man! Super here! But your father didn't stop there. He had many friends and family in the neighboring highlands. So once he had protected Jamaica, he took the Jamaican army across the waters and one by one defended the Caribbean highlands. Until the whole Caribbean was restored. Him was awarded every medal for courage and leadership. And him a national hero, not just to Jamaica, but to the whole Caribbean. Did it again. But it now come without a cost. During the war, him lost him brother and him best friend, Barbados. Grief was almost too much to bear, and for a long time, him was angry with himself, cause him always thinks him can do more, so him blame himself. But there was nothing he could have done. 
it was Barbados's time to go. To this day, him still visit Barbados grave and pay him respect. Just like your father, Barbados was a good man. And your father say him was the best soldier him ever served with. Rest in peace, my beloved son. Rest in peace. So you see, your father has seen a lot of war, but him a man of peace. Him not look for trouble, but if trouble come knocking, him always stand up and protect those he care about. Grandad, could my dad be a lion in a fight? <laughs> your father is a lion, just like you. Really? Yeah, man. You have lion blood in you. And let me tell you something about the lion. The lion might not be the biggest. It might not be the strongest. It might not be the fastest. <gasps> That's a cheetah, because I learned that at school. Yeah, man. The cheetah the fastest. But what the lion? Hmm, I don't know, Grandad. The lion is the king. And why is that? Guy's mentality. You know, the lion mind, the lion say, I am the king. So when the lion put one foot in front of the other, the lion walk like a king. And all the animals see how the lion carry himself. And they respect the lion as a king in the animal kingdom. So if it's in our family to be a lion, then that means you're a lion too, Grandad. Can you tell me some stories about you being a lion? It's past your bedtime. Sleep well, young king. Sleep well. So the mountain was found on the side of the road, in a coma. I thought the mountain was undefeatable. Didn't you say he's never lost a fight? Well, he did. And it was meant to be a fight to the death. But it seems the savage man showed him mercy. I'll admit I didn't see that one coming. But I ain't gonna save him. So we've established that he's an elite fighter. In hand-to-hand -hand combat, he's a freak of nature. He's annihilated the mountain, it was undefeated. And on the ground, not even GSP can handle his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and wrestling. But ultimately, he's still just a mindless barbarian who's good at fighting and likes to walk around with a belt and an axe. So enough fun and games. It's time to end this. We go in there, we bring the guns and we finish him. It's that simple. Let's see how well his punches do against the bullets. This ain't a street fight anymore. This is a war. And mark my words, he's out of his depth. <laughs>